hello. Uh, I've been standing in the queue uh, at the at Sainsbury's, as a matter of fact, and it was a very long queue. And I started thinking about what I've been reading in the news. And the news is that uh, nowadays you can um, you don't have to worry about. Uh, having a baby uh, when you're young, you can freeze your eggs and have IVF, uh, which is really very nice because I am what uh, the Chinese press call a forgotten woman. I never did find anybody uh, that I wanted to have a baby with, uh, and I realized that that's because I was extremely picky. Uh, I didn't, I haven't even found somebody that I'd like to spend more than a couple hours with uh, because I'm very selective about living with anyone who doesn't put the toilet seat down or um, doesn't polish the faucet on the sink. That caused a lot of trouble, of course, and with both my divorces and both husbands left in a snit. Uh, so I never did bother to have babies with them. However, uh, now I have noted that age makes absolutely no difference. I can go ahead and I can lead a full and complete life, do all the things I want and all the things, travel around the country and around the world, meet a lot of people, and then now that I'm 81, I can go down to the egg bank, I guess that's what it is, and I can get one of my eggs, or probably at my age I'd have to get a dozen or so to make it work, uh, and uh, have some IVF. Uh, I, of course, I mean, obviously now I don't have any eggs, but I might be able to borrow someone else's who doesn't want uh, the trouble and the trauma of actually delivering a child. I can get that baby, and then I can experience the marvelous joys that everybody has been told me, has been telling me that I've missed. Uh, I, I've missed the wonderful thrill of having a baby emerge from my body, ripping it uh, apart, and... Uh, and and living with it and feeding it and staying up with it all night and loving it because it's got my genes uh, and not feeling sorry for it because it has my genes and, and giving it the kind of life that my mother and father never gave me, uh, which would make me feel very good and would get back at my mother and father. However, now uh, I've moved from the United States to Britain, and the advantages are all mine in this lovely country, because if I have that baby, since I have no partner and have no interest in getting one, um, I can get a two-bedroom flat and 1200 a month, uh, which would be really wonderful, because I would like to do that. Uh, and, and as it is now, being a comedian, I rarely get 1200 a month. I'm happy if I manage to get 50 Of course, I'd have to share it with the baby, but babies don't eat that much, and um, I, could, I think I could handle it. And then I would, we stuck with this wonderful child uh, till, uh, for 18 years, which would you make me uh, 99, uh, and then uh, it could bury me, or if it uh, preferred, it could just... Um, burn me up and stick me in an urn and put me on the mantle and go on about its life. So I think uh, that would be really an interesting thing. However, if I did have that baby here in this country, I probably would make the headlines in at least 18 countries and I wouldn't have to worry about the 1200 a month because I would have my own reality TV show. And thank you so much for listening to the thoughts I have while standing in the queue waiting for somebody, somehow, somewhere, to notice me. Mm -hmm.